So chapter 11 is radical reactions. Now th this chapter is a long chapter if you look at the textbook. Uh, what, I, what I did actually, I, I cut down this chapter into only a couple of reactions which are which are important okay and we absolutely have to know kind of reactions so the first reaction is called allylic and benzylic bromination okay so first of all let's find out what is allylic and benzylic right so allylic is the carbon that is directly attached to the double bond so this is your allylic and a benzylic is the carbon which is attached to the aromatic ring. Okay, so that's carbon. That position is called allylic and benzylic. So allylic and benzylic. Right. So the name itself says that we are trying to put a bromine on those two carbons. Right. So if I if I put a bromine on that carbon, how it will look like? So that carbon right there, you put a bromine on that. All right. And same is true for this, that you have the aromatic ring and the first carbon which is attached to the aromatic ring, that is your benzylic carbon and you're trying to put a bromine on that carbon. Okay. Now how do I do that? The, you have to remember one thing here is called NBS. Okay, so you need NBS. Okay, so NBS has only one job to do is to put a bromine on the benzylic or allylic carbon, right? <clears throat> so what NBS does then? Okay. Oh sorry, what is the NBS then? Okay, so NBS stands for N bromo. succinamide so NBS okay and that's the structure for NBS so N bromo succinamide again nobody's gonna ask you what is the structure for NBS <clears throat> but you should know what's the job of NBS anytime you see NBS what it does okay so it puts a bromine on the allylic or benzylic carbon, right? So let's let's do some example just to make sure that we understand the concept. Okay, so let's say if you have an example like this, right? and if I throw NBS here, right? Or let's say we have an example like this, and if I throw NBS. Right. So first thing what I'm going to do here is the moment I see NBS, then I remember NBS has one job to do is to put a bromine on the allylic and benzylic carbon. Right. So do I have allylic carbon here? Okay. So let's take a look at the first example. So which, what is allylic carbon? So the carbon that does directly attach to the double bond. All right. So then you can go ahead and put a bromine on that carbon right there. So that carbon should have the bromine so that's your product okay. in this case do you have aromatic ring so that should be benzylic and that's your carbon which is benzylic carbon so can I put a bromine on that carbon then yes because that's what NBS does so that carbon right there I'm gonna go ahead and put a bromine on it okay <clears throat> so that's how you figure out your allylic and benzylic carbon all right and how to put a bromine on it Okay. Now you probably got, got the reason why we are learning this because during this process you actually put a bromine okay, on your carbon and the moment I see a bromine then we are thinking about a leaving group. Okay. So it, can, it will open up new doors for substitution and elimination reactions and that's why we need to learn this reaction. Right. Uh, let's try one more example here so just to make sure that you are not confused with benzylic and allylic carbon, right? So here, so if you have an example like this, and if I throw NBS, then this is not an aromatic ring, okay? So, but you have a double bond attached to a carbon, so you have allylic position here, and you have allylic position here, right? 
So in this case, you can choose any one, right? So your product should be either you choose this right here or you choose this one, it will be the same, okay? But again, don't forget that uh, this is not an aromatic ring. So, but you have an allylic carbon here, double single with a carbon. So this is allylic. So the most important part again here is to find out which is allylic and benzylic carbon. Once you know it, then you know where to put the bromine. Okay. So this is one type of reaction. This is a very important reaction. Again, there is no mechanism. There is a mechanism, but we don't need to know it as long as you can remember the reaction. All right. And the second reaction here is bromination of alkanes. So alkane bromination. So if you remember, we actually haven't done any reactions on alkane right? <clears throat> so far. We know the addition reaction of alkenes, alkynes, right? But alkyl halides, but we haven't done any reaction on alkane, all right? So this is very simple and straightforward and only one reaction, okay? <clears throat> so let's say if you have an alkane, right? So it's, or maybe cycloalkane, it doesn't really matter, right? But it has to be alkane, alkane or cycloalkane. And if I put bromine with heat or bromine with light. So HV stands for light. Sorry, this is not it. HV stands for light. Okay. So basically light or heat, anything, anything which is a source of energy, right? So light or heat. So this is heat and HV is light. And these are the heat sources. So anyone is fine, that will put a bromine on the carbon, okay? Only on one carbon, like that, okay? Because all the carbons are the same, okay? So it doesn't matter which one you choose, okay? But there's a catch here and I'll tell you what it is in a minute, okay? Now, since in this case it doesn't matter because all the carbons are the same, Right? If you have an example like this, let's say, and if I have Br2 with, with light, okay? So <clears throat> now bromination can happen on three carbons, right? So there's one type of carbon, this is second type, and this is third type, right? So what's the difference between all these three carbons? So this is tertiary carbon, this is secondary, and this is primary, right? If you look at the previous example, they're all secondary, so it doesn't matter which one, right? <clears throat> but in this case, we have a primary, secondary, and tertiary. So this is the only thing what you have to keep in mind, that bromination will happen only on the most stable carbon. So bromination, occurs at the most stable carbon. So which is the most stable carbon, primary, secondary, tertiary, in this case is tertiary. So it depends in, in the structure, whatever choice you have, okay? If you have a primary and secondary, then it will happen on secondary. But in this case, since we have a tertiary, bromination will happen on tertiary carbon. All right, so this is the most important thing you can keep in mind, that bromination only happens at the most stable carbon, right? So one more example here. So if you have Br2 and heat in this case, it doesn't matter heat or light, okay? So bromination should happen on which carbon now? So we have this carbon is same as this, and there's one carbon right there, right? So what kind of carbon is that? This is primary. Carbonated to one other carbon is primary. And this is secondary. So bromination should happen on the secondary carbon. All right? This got nothing to do with allylic and benzylic. Allylic and benzylic is different story. Okay? This, in this case, we are talking about alkanes. Okay? Alkanes means there is no double bond. Okay? Only single bonds. Okay? Again, why this reaction is important? 
because we can put a leaving group on the carbon. And the moment we see a leaving group, then we can do elimination and substitution with this. All right. Let's try one more example and then that should be the end of this chapter. All right. So let's say if you have something like this. So in this case, we have two different types of carbons, primary, 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 and this is tertiary right here. So the bromination has to happen on the tertiary carbon. So that should be a product, okay? So bromination occurs at the most stable carbon, which is tertiary in this case, all right? So again, these reactions are very simple. You just have to remember whenever you, whenever you see those reagents, like what, what, what happens if you have Br2 with light and what is NBS, okay? So that way, and there are only two types in this case. I mean, there are more reactions, but looking at the time, and we, I, I tried not to go into details of radical reactions. So only two reactions for now. All right.